Why does it feel like it has no scales? Because it has no scales. <laughs> Oh my gosh! The breeding uh, part. Yo, yeah, all different types of. Is that a gator? These are little gators. Oh, oh, oh. Two-headed snake. An albino alligator. Listen. What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video here. Today I'm at the reptarium. I'm about to walk in, and it's late. They're actually closed. We're getting the inside look. I have things that you can see when it's open, but Brian's in here. Hey, what's going on, guys? What's happening, man? Okay, so bottom line is, there's a lot to look at. Let me give you a quick peek. This place looks so natural. I mean, oh my gosh. No, welcome to my rainforest. You did amazing. <laughs> you did amazing. I mean, look at the leaves. Everything is just, you could see how much work went into doing it. Yeah, we Incredible. poured our soul, man. We love it. So we got a lot of stuff to look at. Greg's here as well. Hey, hey, Greg. Hey, hey. Got a lot of stuff to look at down this aisle. And then even over here, giant snapping turtle. We'll get to all this in just a second. And then down here, look at this. I've done reptile tours in the past, as you know, a lot of these videos do very well. This is the coolest top-notch reptile store I've ever been in my life, ever. They, every little speck, I mean, look at this. It looks so real, and every snake, every animal in here has an amazing looking enclosure. I mean, look how much room these reptiles have. It's like natural. So much effort put into every speck in detail in every enclosure. Now, we'll have this place linked in the description, obviously, because I know you're going to want to come and visit this after this video. Giant toads, I mean, two-headed snakes, rhino iguanas, and much, much more. What's up? So friendly, it's unreal. Brian, you ready? I am ready. What are we doing? He was born doing? ready. I'm always ready. So, what we're going to do is um, tour us around your place. That's tour cool. us around your place. Is that cool? I can, I can, absolutely. This is what All I right. love. I live we want to see everything every that's single in this whole thing. entire place. All right. Every single thing. Yes. We'll start with Greg. Thing. Here yes. we got Greg. <laughs> Got Greg. Greg. The, right, the I, wildest animal. Of listen, all. I'm going to start right here since we're standing right here. This is actually a cool animal. Uh, his name is Pinocchio, and and I think you're going to. Oh, I know why exactly why. Pinocchio, because he is a rhinoceros <laughs> rat snake from Vietnam. Look at that nose. The Colors are amazing. It's so beautiful, you know. And they're born gray, and they actually turn green at about six to eight months of age. But just a really cool snake. There's a good shot. Pinocchio. Pinocchio. That's awesome. <laughs> and you'll see like most of our animals have kind of fun, playful names because we want people, what we always say is we want to kind of create curiosity. Right? Yeah, of course. And I noticed that you actually customize all these little names. Yep, all the little names. Not every not every cage has them yet, but yeah. they all will very we'll soon. <laughs> because because uh, we want them to look so cool. And we're actually going to have QR codes put on all the cages too. That way you can you come can around it. and literally scan it and learn all so about smart. the stuff, you know? Yeah. So those are all going to go on as well. We're building out all those pages. This is actually oh. a snake. That is super cool. Well, you gotta read. Use yeah. a second. Why does it feel like it has no scales? Because it has no scales. <laughs> it's a scaleless snake. See? <laughs> this is actually bred to not have scales, believe it or not. And you can see it's starting to shed. That's yeah. how it sheds. Like and the shedding is like... it feels it's very like, weird. Oh. <laughs> it's <is> oh. <laughs> crazy though, right? I like it though. It's dope. Again, another snake that, you know, when people come, they're like, what? What is I've that? I've never yeah. seen anything like That's that. That's half the animals that I've seen just, just kind of pacing by. Yeah, and, and, and that's what we try to do, you know, is just try to get people be excited. Oh boy, this thing not. is so sick. <laughs> I love this guy. This guy, of course, is named Chubby Monkey. And of course, uh, he, his name... It's an ice cream flavor. Oh my gosh. Look at Chubby Monkey. These eat mice, don't they? These things eat mice, they eat rats, they eat I love bugs, it. Worms. I would love to have one of these. Oh my gosh, yeah. And, and Chunky Monkey is actually just uh, about a year old. So he, he's going to get Look at much that. bigger. He is fat. And what's crazy is he looks like he's slimy. Yeah, but he's not. I thought that you were going to hand me it to him. I was yeah. going to be like, oh. No, he's totally dry. Yeah. He's like dry. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's just really silky looking. And all the way, that's just coconut bedding yeah. right there. Um, Didn't you actually make that? The this is actually our brand of coconut. It's called Reptile Prime. And, and uh, it's dust free. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to make a, 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 a bedding that didn't have all that dust in it, you know? Mm -hmm. So we ended up doing it and it turned out pretty well. This is one of my favorite snakes for sure. Just a little dude. It's just a little girl, but her, her oh, name is... Oh, is that an anaconda? Yep, her name is yeah. Beardy. I love it. I love it. I know. This is Beardy. So, she's, how old? She's a year old now, and she's hanging on to me. You can see she's had a little bit of a meal. It was feed day here earlier today, so... But we do have a few things that we're going to allow you to feed, Paul. Uh, yes. Because I saved a couple things special for you. 
<laughs> this is so cool. I love the anacondas. Oh, they're so special. I mean, and she's so cool because she's so tame. You know, a lot of green anacondas in particular have a little bit of an attitude, but she is just a puppy dog. And that's one of the things that we really try to do here is work with our animals like constantly to get them to be super, super Yeah, of course. Tame, you know? Especially so, when you have a lot of people around. Yeah, so that way when people do come and say, hey, listen, I want to, you know, check that snake out. We're like, sure, let's take it out and see. Like, for instance, one of our star attractions here at the Reptarium is certainly this girl here. Her name is Perdita. And Perdita, of course, she's a I like it. How reticulated python, and uh, she is just unbelievable. Oh. She's only a year old. Lee moly, Greg. Yes. Do your thing. Greg loves this. <laughs> <laughs> really cool. This is his favorite. Yeah, now, this is Perdita. She's a, again, she's a year old reticulated python. And what's interesting is, you know, reticulated pythons get like. 18, 20 foot. You know, I have Daisy and Lucy, yeah, my big, yeah, big girls. Yeah. But this particular line here stays a little bit smaller. She's probably going to max out at maybe 10, 12 foot. You know, maybe 10 about foot. the size, 10 foot. size of a football or something like that. You know, when we're open, literally she'll be out for four hours. Yeah, straight. beautiful snake. Yeah, she never gets agitated. She seems to love. I always tell people. That's right, a year and a half old, huh? Year, not even a year and a half. That's wow. crazy. You always tell people what? I always tell people, like, do snakes like to be handled? Uh, I don't know if they do, but I think some snakes really tolerate being handled. I think with Perdita and really my girl Sunrise too, maybe they even like it a little I bit. I could tell, yeah. yeah they're always wrapping like, around. I think yeah. if you train them, yeah. it's almost like any other animal. Yeah. A random dog is not going to want to be touched. Yeah, exactly. But if you train them since they grow up being touched, they're not going to mind it. I mean, what snake lets you do that? Exactly. Besides one that's trained. Exactly. <laughs> oh, i got to show you this real quick. Is that a gator? These are little gators. <laughs> These are the cutest little things in the world. Oh, look at that oh guy. my gosh. <laughs> I just think they're cute. Look how That is so it is. dope. I know, right? Look at so Hello, buddy. It's okay. That's I sick. I love gators, dude. I I, I've always wanted a gator, but you got to have a license. Yeah. Well, we got a couple special gators I'll show you in a little bit, too, that are uh, slightly different color than this normal gator. Oh, my. I've seen them on your channel. Yeah. Albino and Albino. then an all blacked out one, all right? All blacked out one. So, I'll, so. I'll show you that. Ready? No. Oh, oh, they swim so cool. I know, right? It's like a little dragon. I know, it's so cool. So we're actually, we only have two of them in this tank right now, but we're actually getting eight more, so we'll have ten in this tank so that we can really kind of, when you look, it's sort of just all I mean, over the place. That's one thing I mentioned to him in the beginning of this video. It's how every enclosure is so big. Yeah. Like you guys put the effort into really keeping your animals in we, something that's so natural. Well, we wanted to do that, you know, because, you know, for years we've been snake breeders and we kind of kept minimalistic cages and I really wanted to go go the other way. Yeah. You know, really big cages, naturalistic, just awesome. And like this cage, is where it's got two basking spots. You get this side, you can get yep. that side. That way, if, you know, you got territorial stuff, you know, one can be here, one can be there. I really tried to think it out. That's not to say that we're not going to continue to upgrade and do better things, but, yeah. uh, but we just wanted the animals to be super happy. And, yeah, and that's what it was all about. And uh, as a matter of fact, speaking about happy, I got to show you this. This will, you know, one of the things I think that's great, you know, you met Bella earlier and uh, we just leave her cage open, right? She's a yeah. rhino iguana, no big deal. But, you know, we, we like a lot of the animals that literally seem to love their enclosure. And this is a perfect example here. This is an animal we can take out. Oh, he's hiding under. under. <laughs> he's hiding underneath. I was it. like, there was nothing in here when I filmed it. I know, but this, this is this is. You actually, know one thing about me? What's that? The second I do end up getting a house, I'm getting a tegu. Tegus are amazing. Tegus are the... Why, Paul? I just love them. Look at love how the touchy. cheeks. I know. Look, look at how, how awesome. I hold these cards. Just, all you have to do is ways to hold reptiles. Yep, as long as you're keeping them supported. Keep them supported, right? Yep. Just like the pig. My yep. pig, the pet pig, mm -hmm. doesn't like when its legs are hanging. Because lizards don't fly. That's, that's uh, <laughs> how life works. Pigs don't fly. I mean, some people may imagine that, but that is <laughs> I so think I saw cool. A with the animals seem to be loving their cages. Take a look at this. Go home. Go home. Yeah. And what other animal would do that unless they actually <laughs> liked where they live? <laughs> <laughs> is that awesome or what? Yeah. I absolutely love that. I can't that. believe it's so big after 11 months old. I know, Look I love that. it. He loves it. Look at the snake going over the camera. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> I'll take that from you, Greg. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Oh, the frogs, here, the actually, frogs. Here, let's do this. You know what's cool? Let me see. Oh, Look at them all hopping away. Right oh, we got some feeding going on. Oh, they know. Oh, my guys. Holy moly, what are wingless those? Wingless fruit flies, so right? Yep, wingless fruit flies. So they can't fly. Nope, They're just they wingless. Fly. Look how cool that is. Yellow ones. And these guys, watch. You'll, you'll, I'll, I'll pour these out. 
And there's only a few. Like the kind what kind of, of frog is this? This is actually a uh, Tinctoris azurus is what they call these guys. You put a lot of them in there. Mm-hmm. They just nail oh, them. They're, huh? com they're coming. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so dope. They just go crazy. Those wingless fruit flies have no shot. Not at all. See, here comes the rest of them. Yeah, now how many are in here? There's five total, and all five will come out. Are these males and females? Uh, there are, there's two males and three females. So you can have there. babies. I hope so. That'd the be cool. The males actually carry the tadpoles on their back, believe it or not. Really? Yeah, the males do all the heavy lifting on these guys, and then they'll eventually take them over to the waterfall, and they'll actually let them go before they hatch into little tadpoles, or into little froglings. So that's what I love about this, because I know I'm not the only one learning here. Oh gosh, well I'm still 100%. learning. 100%. I'm still learning every day. Of course, day. everyone learns. Yeah. <laughs> There's got to be other people learning as you're watching this. We try. We try to edutain people is what of course. we say, right? We yes. edutain them. That's the way we do it. Got it. <laughs> oh my god, he's almost falling out of this. So who is this? This is actually Bella. She's a two and a half year old rhino iguana. And I think that she doesn't realize that she's not a reptile. She thinks she's a cat. Go ahead and pet her and you'll find out. <laughs> I petted her in the beginning of the video because the cage was open, but... <laughs> okay. Oh. My goodness. She is. Uh, hey. She defies logic when it comes to reptiles. You can see she puffs up like, pet me more. Yeah. She'll close her eyes. Hey, Bella, she, you sure you're not a dog? <laughs> she doesn't know. That's crazy. I mean, literally, I've spent tens of thousands of hours with this girl, just spending time with her and getting her habituated. And, and she's definitely... She's got some muscles. She is I yoked. Know, right? She's ripped. Look at those, look at those legs right there. Arr! Dang, what, what are you eating? <laughs> Um, this is an animal that I'm going to want to get out. Ooh. It's going to take a second. Water monitor? Yeah, but I always let him come out on his own. So one of the things we try to do with a lot of these animals is we let them make their decisions. Mm -hmm. So like we don't force them to do anything, right? So yeah. we want them to do it. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of, come on, Elvis, come on out. Come on, bud. Come on. And it comes. Come on. Look come at on. that. Come on, sweetie. Come on. Uh, he's uh, almost two years old now. So that'll be mine in another six months. Yep, yep, yep. Wow. Just feed him up good. This is the thing that's great about this animal, though, is that it, it's tame as could be, but yeah, it'll eat like a monster. Come on. Come what? On. Oh! Ho, ho. That is so cool. Well, what's good about Elvis is that, like, he can be eating a lot of reptiles. Once they're in food wow, mode, you have to be so really good. careful. But with Elvis, he is just so amazing. You can still just pet him and just hang out with him like nothing. I mean, yeah. he totally knows the difference between food and attention because we just worked with him for so long. He'll probably love to get another one, though. Oh, he's got a good bite, too. You can yeah. feel the pressure? Yeah, he, you can feel it rip right out of your hand. I mean, look, he's eating as he's in Brian's hands. He's my baby. He's so fly. So He's my cool, baby. Man. And we literally let him run around for like two hours a day. He's out. Yeah. He just, you know, he's. That's cool. Him. Yeah. See, Greg, that's what you got to look forward to, man. Yep. You just got to work with these guys like a lot. Right. Like, really get them habituated. The more attention you pay to them, the better pets they become, right, buddy? So Elvis. Elvis is in the house. Next animal. This right here, let me get a good focus on that red eye because that's an albino Nile monitor. That's, that's the right. only one in the world. This is the only one that we know of in the world. There yes. was another one, but it passed away recently. So uh, this is the only one now. He's a year old. His name is Chicken Strip because he looks kind of like a chicken, chicken strip. strip. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and we've been really working on this guy trying to keep him tame because now monitors don't always have the best dispositions. So uh, just handling him, and you can see I've got a little bit of blood here, a little bit of blood there, just from uh, pulling him up. But once he's out, he's, uh, he's a puppy dog. He's chilling. He's just chilling now. Here. Come here, dude. Oh, wow, he really is just chilling, literally. Who's this? This is Argamus Prime. Argamus Prime. This is the one that I'll, I'll shoot you, you uh, operate. Okay. Do this? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, hang on a second here. All right, so this is the deal. I'm going to give you rules and regulations, all right? Yes, sir. All right, so I'm going to give you four or five mice. The idea is, number one, if a mouse drops off your tongues, do not try to grab the mouse. Just because let him eat you it. grab the mouse, he's going to grab your hand. Okay, okay, okay. So what the deal is, is he's going to, this, I'm going to give you the play by the way, right all now. Right. All right, you're going to have the tongs. You're going to have a mouse. You're going to open up the thing. You're going to go like this. You're going to tease him out of the cage. He's going to come here. Then you're going to run here. Let him eat the first mouse. Second mouse here. Third mouse here, turn the corner. 
Fourth mouth, you got one mouse to get him back in the cage. You don't get him back in the cage and we are all screwed. So, you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm gonna open it up and uh, it's all to you. Ready? Yes, sir. Oh my gosh, holy moly. <laughs> oh my gosh, he literally skyrocketed off the thing to get it. Dude, it's so funny watching him run on the tile. All right, with the last mice, we gotta get this lizard back into its cage. God. Hey! <laughs> well done. Hey! <laughs> you did it. That was awesome, killed man. It. Awesome. You killed it. Killed it. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? That is sick. He ate five mice. <laughs> yeah. Now, how long until he eats again? Uh, two or three days. Two to three days. Yeah, it's, it's got a crazy metabolism. So you got him ready for me. I thought he was right. This morning I was like, am I going to feed him? No, I'll wait till Paul gets here. <laughs> so we got the bearded dragons up here. There's all sorts of stuff here. But what do we got right here? This is actually a reticulated python, 19 foot. Come on. So you said she's nice? She's unbelievably nice. Like a puppy dog nice. I hatched her eight years ago myself. So I've been really? since the day she was born. Wow. And I've been messing with her since the day she was born to keep her super tame. Yeah. It's wrapping around me. Look at this. That is crazy. The size of this snake is unreal. And I love the yellow head. The bright yellow head. So cool. So this pond right here, check this out. I mean, that is amazing. Look at that. Little viewing panels here. And uh, this is Bowser, the giant snapping turtle. What a perfect name. Doesn't get much better than that. Bowser. Look at how dope that aquarium is. What the heck do you have? Heck, dude, it's the Mata Mata turtle. <laughs> Those are the, the these are the turtles that have look like a leaf, right? Exactly. Look, yes. Look at it. Look, if oh you were my. at the bottom of a yep. river, you would think it was just a leaf. Literally. It's crazy. And they're not too aggressive, right? Oh, no, these guys are so chill. Super chill. They're very, they're actually not as expensive as I thought. No, it's just When you buy them, buy them for like 350 bucks from their babies. It should be like 10 grand. A stupid you know, amount I mean, of money, you would I think. Look at this thing. It's like a prehistoric the monster. shell shape and everything. See, it's got that little pointed nose, and it's got two little nostrils on the end. And what it'll do is it'll extend its, its entire neck all the way up to the top of the water just to try to breathe. And yep. two little things. And, uh, so it can kind of stay protected, yeah, it stays protected, but yet breathe. Exactly. And then look at that little smile on his face. It's got a little smile. <laughs> They're just so cute. That's such a cool turtle. I love this thing. Brian, I think what we should end this with is with those... Actually, dude, I got the biggest <laughs> snake in the whole place. It's right here, man. In the heck is going on? What is this? <laughs> it's my pillow, man. Dude. Oh, foot snake, dude. <laughs> Get it. Get it, Brian. Get it! <laughs> but this right here was probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life when you showed me this. I know. Let, let's get lower just in case these guys decide to freak out. I mean, that is an albino, listen, an albino alligator. That is insane. And now what is this one? This is actually a melanistic alligator, so a jet black one. Look at the piercing black eyes. And I mean, this what? is a genetic mutation just like the albino, but the reverse. So basically this is lacking all the black and this has all of the black. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I can actually do it pretty good. <laughs> albino alligator. You don't see that every day. I don't, I don't think you see it at all pretty much. But... I know, they're rare, but it's cool. <laughs> that mean... one's even more rare, you said, right? This one is actually rarer than the albino, believe it or not. Even though the albino probably is a little bit more sought after. Yeah. Uh, this one, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I love the albino yeah, alligator, of course. but this one is kind of my favorite. Yeah. It really is. I like how he's big. Oh my God. He's, all, he's all chubby. Yeah, he just looks crazy, you know? So when these get big, they're going to be just like any other gator. Just in this color. Yeah, literally, they just stay black and they're gonna get, you know, 12, 13 oh foot long, yeah. Oh my gosh. That is gonna be extremely insane when they're that big and they're that, that color. This is salt and pepper, by the way. Salt and pepper, this is pepper, I'm guessing. That's pepper. With the colors. Exactly. It's the morning, we came back to the reptarium and there's actually leopard tortoises and then a sulcata right there. There's four that are right here, I didn't even mention these yesterday, chilling at the front. And it's a big old chameleon. But there's one thing I didn't show you yesterday. And if you're familiar with Brian's channel, then you definitely know who this is. This is Ben and Jerry, a two-headed snake. Let's take this out. Oh, there it is. There it is, my man. 
A two-headed snake. Look at the that smiley face. Yeah, he's got the little smiley face. smiley face on his head. <laughs> See that? Oh, perfect. Stay still. Dude, that is so sick. I know. He's always happy. Awesome. That's what I say. Ben and Jerry's always happy with this little smiley face. <laughs> it's definitely happy. wild. You know, the, I'm sure people yeah. come in just specifically to see the two-headed snake Absolutely. like that. And Ben is on the left. Jerry is on the right. Ben is the dominant <laughs> head by far. He I eats a lot more? He's the only one that eats, actually. Ah. Although Jerry... But does it go to the same... Digestive it does system. Go to the same digestive system. As a matter of fact, here later this week we're doing an X-ray to see exactly what they share. So That's we're cool. We're really excited about it, but uh, it's a pretty cool animal. So you guys got to go check out Brian's channel. I'll have it linked in the description. He does all a bunch of videos with animals here and animals all over the world. Yeah, really, all he all fil films it. everything. So go check out his channel. It's linked in the description. He's amazing for letting me come in here and make this video. You're always welcome, brother. I'll, I'll be man. back. <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna be coming to see you, man. On over to the next part of this. So this is, oh uh, this my is lord! Easy. This is our breeding center. Oh, the uh, breeding sure. part. Yeah, you know, all different types of you know snakes and lizards and all kinds of crazy stuff all over the place in here. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> How many animals in here, Brian? There's probably about ten thousand. Ten thousand. Holy this is moly! All the, uh, the rest of the stuff, of course. We've got Kelsey. Isn't there an alligator back here? Yep, we have an alligator. <laughs> back Three legged here. alligator, RJ. <laughs> Right, there it is, three-legged alligator in his aquascape ecosystem. So, so Greg, how long did it take to install that well, biofall? Hey, we did it in one day, right? One day. And he was telling where he was right here. Yeah, at he was just in a big, big, huge kiddie pool here. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then, he used to have to drain that kiddie pool two to three times a week. Yeah. And how yeah. often have you drained this in a year? Uh, not once in eighteen or eighteen months or so. Un months unbelievable. Or so. <laughs> all but all because it's an ecosystem. Yep. Hey, if you want to see me come back to right here and film all this, drop a like. We'll see. I might be back, Brian. Yeah, I'll definitely be back. back. 